I've made multiple millions with drop shipping over the past five years. I have a full team, I have an office, I have two warehouses. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I would start drop shipping in August 2024. This video is not going to include any bullshit, not any hacks or secret methods. I'm just going to tell you actually how I would do it if I was a complete beginner with a minimal budget, how I'd actually start making profit with drop shipping in 2024. Over the past five years, I've tried literally every form of making money online, whether it's affiliate marketing, agency, e-commerce, FBA, like I've tried everything, okay? I originally started with Shopify dropshipping, built some longer term brands, and now I'm focusing on something that is quite interesting, you've probably not heard about before, but I think it's the best way to do dropshipping right now for beginners, and that is Etsy dropshipping. So Etsy is this cool little marketplace, basically, that was kind of a handmade only marketplace. But over the past few years, they've switched their branding, they've switched their marketplace to allow more people to come on the platform and sell essentially drop shipped Chinese items. So this is basically a really, really good marketplace for us drop shippers to come onto the platform and just kill it because no one really knows about it right now. Shopify drop shipping, everyone's heard about. Amazon FBA, everyone's heard about. Selling on eBay, everyone's heard about. But selling on Etsy and doing drop shipping, no one's really heard about. So let's get straight into it. That's a brief explanation of why I think it's good. But like, let's actually go into let's how, the, how the fuck you do it, okay? So I've made a little flow chart here and essentially we've got a bunch of different steps. First step, account and store. Then we're gonna go to product research, listing products, traffic and advertisements, drop shipping method, how you actually ship the items, avoiding bans, and then the final step is making cash, okay? So let's get straight into things with account and store. How would you actually go about doing this? So go to etsy.com, click in the top right, click sign in, then when the pop-up comes up, click create an account. There's a little hack that I will say to do here. This name does not have to be your name. My name's Craig. None of my Etsy stores are in my name, okay? So this is not a legal name, this is the branded name. So think about it. On Etsy, often you want to actually brand yourself as a person that's very, very crafty and has designed these products yourself rather than just selling some shit that someone else has made, okay? People wanna buy from a story, people wanna buy from a brand, okay? So you can put any name in here. I like to use female names, Karen, chuck a little Jamiroquai in there from now and then, you know, just spice it up, do whatever you want there, okay? Go create the account, add a profile picture, add some about us, add the location you're based in. We're gonna flesh out this a little bit. This is the first part of essentially your website. So bear in mind that you want to have a little bit on your profile. If you're using a female's name, you can go onto uh, Google, you can find AI face profile picture generator, use one of them, or you can just upload any picture of anything you really want. Uh, a face is better though, okay? So after you've done this, again, as I said, you wanna add the about us, you wanna add a city or location that you're based in. Again, city can be whatever. I like to do UK based stores because I'm British. If you're from the US, the US, whatever. And again, chuck in a bunch of random stuff, fill it out a little bit, okay? Once you've done this, you then want to move to making the store. So how do you go about actually making the store? And again, this is so incredibly simple. This is not a Shopify store where you've got to spend 20 hours building the whole website, doing all the conversion rate optimization. No, so fuck, like so easy, so easy, okay? So all you need to do is you go to etsy.com slash sell, or you go to the top right, click on your little profile thing, and then click sell on Etsy, okay? When you go to this, it's gonna ask you a few survey questions. Just click skip, 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 skip. Then it's gonna ask you to put in your store name. For your store name, you don't need anything fancy. If your name's Karen, your, your person's name's Karen, Karen's creations, Karen's productions, Karen's beautiful crafts, just chuck in anything. It doesn't really matter. Just keep it a little bit broad because right now we don't know which products we're gonna actually list. It's also gonna ask you to list a product in order to open your store. So we haven't got to product research just yet, so I don't want to overcomplicate this, 
because it's important we just get our store open as soon as possible. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add a digital product. That digital product can be a picture. So what I normally do is I get my phone, I take a picture of my leg, and then I airdrop it to my laptop, I send it to my laptop, I do whatever, email it to myself. Then I put the photo of that on there. The picture I put as, the, the title, sorry, I put as really anything that you need to put. Picture of my leg, put it, the price is 10 pound, cool, done. Next stage, that's literally all you need to do. We don't want to have to worry about finding the perfect product to upload. We just want to put in anything right now just to get to the next stage. It doesn't matter what we actually put in because we just want to open up our store ASAP, okay? So the next step is gonna ask you for your credit card details and stuff and obviously just chuck that all in there. It's fine to put your personal information now. You can always change it later. If you do really, really well, you can add a business. But now I wanna keep this as simple as possible and get you selling literally as quickly as possible. So what I do is I put my bank details, personal details, perfectly fine. This is what I do. Let's move on to the next stage. So now we have opened up the account, we've opened up the store, and now we want to move on to product research. Product research is incredibly important. You've probably watched a million different videos. Everyone talks about product research being so incredibly important. All these complicated methods, do this, buy this tool, buy this, buy that. Okay, we don't need to do any of that with Etsy. It's very, very simple. We are going to use a strategy where we are literally copying pre-existing listings. We are copying pre-existing things that are already working. And we are either finding similar products or we are finding the exact same product and we're undercutting the price. The most basic business rules on the planet. We're not doing anything complicated. There's no risk to us here. We're literally like so easy, okay? And the only reason why this is so easy, it won't last forever, is because Etsy, just no one's paying attention to it right now, okay? So let's get straight into it. Head over to Etsy.com. We're gonna do the easiest method in the entire world. So Etsy.com, click categories, choose really any category. But what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna do bags and purses. If you would like to see which niches that I would recommend, then click the link in the description that says free Etsy guide. I've got a list of 20 up-to-date hot selling niches down there. So click there, put in your email and you get a bunch of listings, okay? So right now we are on the bags and purses section of Etsy.com and really click on any listing, okay? If you click on absolutely any listing, you'll be able to scroll down slightly and there'll be item reviews and there'll be shop reviews, okay? So I'll show this on the screen now, obviously, but if you don't see item reviews and shop reviews, ignore that listing. It's probably not doing very, very, very well, okay? Because it has no reviews on that specific item. So the easiest way to see if an item is doing well is just the item reviews and the shop reviews. So if you find a listing that has item reviews on it and they're all recent, let's say you sort by most recent, um, let's click there, sort by most recent. We see this item has a bunch of reviews in the past month. So if this item has got five reviews in the past month, we know that our competitor is selling the item and it's selling well. If someone else is selling the item well, that means we can come in and list the same exact item, but we undercut them on pricing, or we list a very similar item and we try and steal customers a different way from them. Those are the two best ways to do it if you're a beginner. So what tools do we need? So we need a couple of tools. Don't worry, they're completely and utterly free. We need search image by AliExpress. Again, I'll put this in the description below this video. So search image by AliExpress, completely free. It's a great tool, okay, completely free. You also need AliSave. So that's just, worry about that in a second, but that's also in the description as well. So I'll show you in a second how to actually find these products and how to find suppliers for these products, but it's honestly incredibly easy, okay? But product research is the most important part because that way, if you do it correctly, you get loads of sales. But I also want to say, because I know what a lot of people think, because I message a lot of people, a lot of people DM me, a lot of people write comments around this topic, right? And the most important thing here is find some products, list them. It's that simple. Find some products, list them. Don't overthink it. So I'll show you in a second how to find suppliers for these products, but don't worry about that for now because the most important thing is you doing that good product research. If you get that product research down and you understand it, 
you will win with Etsy dropshipping. And no matter what dropshipping, to be honest, you'll win with absolutely everything. But Etsy right now is incredibly easy. So if you just get the right products and you either undercut them or you just use a similar product to one that is already working, then you will win. It's that simple. It's like business 101. Just go cheaper, go better quality, or just 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 go a little bit different. Just copy, 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 copy. It's the best way to do it, okay? So you found this product. This product might be amazing. You've seen it's got good reviews. You've seen it's working reasonably well for someone else. How do you go about actually finding that product and actually listing that product on your own store and stuff like this? Like, Let's just go quickly over how you actually find that product on AliExpress and how you ship that, okay? So what I'm gonna tell you guys right here is suppliers do not matter that much right now. There's a lot of different suppliers you can use, whether it's actually using AliExpress, which isn't the best longer term, or using CJ Dropshipping, AutoDS, DSs, one of these websites, they're okay. Or using a private supplier as well. Again, they're okay. But don't worry about all that now. Don't worry about how you're actually gonna ship out the items right now because that bit is honestly very, 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 very easy. So let's worry about what we're actually going to do right now and how we're gonna find the product, okay? So we're gonna use that tool that I told you to download, Search Image by AliExpress, on Etsy, go to the image and right click on your mouse, a little, obviously the little window comes up where you like copy, paste it, whatever. Click on search image by AliExpress. When you do that, it will either come up on that little Ali Seeks website or it won't come up. If it doesn't come up, check a few of the other images. If it doesn't come up at all, then it's not being bought from China and you don't have to worry about it. But what will happen majority of the time is you will either find that exact same product or you will find a very, very similar product, okay? So this uses like special technology to search that image for all the images on AliExpress. It's pretty good. So if you use this, you probably will find the product. If you just really can't find it, you've searched three different products, you just can't find it at all, don't worry about it. Just skip that product, go find another one. There's literally an unlimited amount of products for you to steal. So listing products, how do we go about actually listing the products we have just found onto the Etsy platform? So the first thing that I'm going to ask you to do is go over to AliExpress, where you found the product that, that, that you like, right? Whether it's a wallet, whether it's a handbag, whether it's a, a lights, whatever it is. Use the Ali Save tool, which you'll see. So there'll be a little orange icon. And you'll see that, you'll be able to click on that. Click on that, download all the images, and you'll be wonderful, okay? So the orange icon will either be by the images, or if you go up to the top right of your screen, click on Extensions, you'll be able to click on Ali Save, and then click Download all of the images. Once you've downloaded all of those images, you'll be basically good. And those are all the images that you can use. There is ways to edit this and make the photos better and stuff like this, but I want to get you guys going as quickly as possible and worry about more of the advanced techniques and the advanced methods a little bit later on, okay? So for now, listings. Let's not overcomplicate this, okay? So the first thing that's gonna pop up on your screen when you go to make a new listing is something asking you about production partners. So with production partners, my advice right now is you don't need to add this, okay? I am adding this, but I'm adding this as a precursor to what's gonna happen in the future where production partners are gonna be necessary. But I have seen no difference if I add a production partner versus if I don't add a, add a production partner, okay? If you wanna add a production partner and you wanna be future-proofed and ready for the, the, the changes that will happen within Etsy, add a production partner, Go to the AliExpress description. You'll see the, Ch um, the Chinese supplier's name. Just add that in there. Say you designed the product and the person made it for you because you're unable to make it. Um, essentially, you don't have the capability to make it. It's really that simple. Do that. That's what I'm putting for all my production partners and it'll be perfectly fine, okay? Once you've done that, you click save, you go to the next one. You need to put in the title, you need to put in a bunch of extra details, okay? So this is where it is relatively simple. And again, we're going with the age old thing of just magpieing ideas from other people. You have pre-existing listing, 
that is already doing very, 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 very well. And you just want to copy and paste their shit. That's really the simplest way to do it. I don't want to overcomplicate it. That fuck, just do that, okay? So copy their title, put it in your title, and change about two words. You can either rearrange things, or you can change it to a synonym, so like a similar word to what they've got in there. Let's say they've got handbag, you could put purse, or you could put shoulder bag instead, right? Just change things a little bit around, okay? Maneuver the order. This way, Etsy system won't pick up that you're just directly copying it. Your competitor won't get annoyed that you're directly copying their title. So obviously you've got other information here, such as the category, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you've got materials and colors, again, you should be able to put that in. It's not very difficult. Um, then you've got description and you've got tags, okay? With description, I recommend you do it like this. So right at the top of the description, you want to put the title of the listing. So put the title of the listing right at the top, then go down two lines and write what's included, go down another line and write what exactly is included. What is the size of the item? What is the color of the item? What is the material of the item? You want to include all of the potential information someone may want from you in that description of the item. Then go down another line and write a simple couple of sentences about your store and about your brand. Let's say your store is all about handbags. Write a couple of sentences. We at Karen's Productions absolutely love making handbags and we've been doing this since blah, blah, blah. We do this with love and care. We make handbags of all different sizes. We special, up, like, just write a couple of sentences. Don't overthink it, but just write a couple of sentences. When you're doing this, try and include as many keywords from your title as possible. If you're writing, if your title is a handbag and you're selling an orange handbag, Right in the description, a couple of little sentences. We specialize in making orange handbags. You know, try and write more keywords. This is all about search engine optimization. Doesn't matter a crazy amount, but just keep going, okay? Once you have written the description, you want to then come back in and write the tags for the listing. The tags are relatively simple, okay? You don't have to do anything crazy, crazy, crazy fancy for the tags, but make sure you fill up all 13 of the tags. And again, you're repurposing that key title right there. There are some tools that you can get on the Chrome extension store to add, uh, to find the tags of your competitor. I'll put one in the link in the description. It's called uh, Etsy tags. You can just copy it from someone else or you can just make up your own ones based upon the title. If you're selling in a handbag, just write in the tags, handbag, women's handbag, women's shoulder bag. You get what I'm trying to say, but just fill up all 13 of them. Again, I'm not trying to overcomplicate this, trying to keep this as simple as possible because really, it's pretty bloody simple. So right now we have two extra things to do, the price and the delivery information. So for the price, we're gonna undercut our competition. We are gonna come back in and mess around with this because we will add a sale to our, to our listing. But for now, just put in essentially an undercut, undercutting price of around five to around 15% of our competitors. When we're doing the delivery information, which is obviously the literal final step right here, we are gonna say we are shipping from our home country. Okay, so I'm based in the UK, so I open up UK Etsy stores. If you're in the US, you do US Etsy stores. So when we're doing this, I put in my UK British postcode, and what I do is I put the longest delivery time that's available on that list, and I put a working, um, a working day dispatch time of around seven to 10 days. It depends on the supplier that I'm using. But for you guys, don't really worry about this too much. Just roughly two to three weeks for your delivery, like your actual items to be delivered to your customers. But don't worry about it too much. We're gonna go into suppliers and we'll talk all about that later on in the video. So obviously we've done the price, we've done the tag, we've done the title, the description, we've done the photos, we've done everything, okay? So now you are ready to publish your listing. So when publishing your listing, that's literally like you just click bottom right, publish, that's it done. And what I'm going to recommend is do one listing every single day to your store. This is the important part, okay? We need to keep finding new products. We need to keep listing them. We're not going to have to spend a lot of money on advertising. I'm going to talk about that in a second. We don't have to spend a lot of money advertising, but we do have to stay consistent with listing our items. So keep listing them, keep pushing them out, 
one every single day. So the next stage here is traffic and ads. As I said, we're gonna keep this as simple as possible. There are a lot more advanced things we can do, but you just don't need to know that. If you wanna just get going, which is what you need to do, then really you don't have to worry about much else. And with traffic and ads, I'm gonna explain my exact method, how exactly I do advertising on a brand new Etsy store. So with traffic and ads, what we're going to be doing is we're not doing Facebook ads. We're not doing really any off-site advertisements like TikTok or Pinterest or anything like this because this is all really expensive if you're a beginner, okay? If you're advanced to dropshipping, you get these advertising platforms, you know how to do it. But if you're a complete beginner, you're probably not gonna have $3,000 to, to, to spend doing that method, which is what it costs to do like normal Shopify dropshipping and go down that route. But also, Etsy's a marketplace. So there's already millions of people every single day going on the platform and searching for items on the platform. So what we wanna do is we wanna tap into that traffic. And the way that I can explain this best is we are going to use Etsy ads. The reason why we're doing that, okay, is because there is many people every day starting a new Etsy store, okay? And when you start a new Etsy store, you launch some listings. Your listings might be wonderful or they might be trash but Etsy doesn't know that just yet so they're gonna very slowly send people to your store so it could literally take a month or two or three months before you get a few visitors and that's if you're doing everything organically so what we want to do is we just want to speed up this process by giving Etsy a little bit of money to give us visitors right like that's the simplest way to do it this is a temporary thing longer term we're only going to be spending I mean, like, a longer time you can just turn off ads, to be honest. But right in the beginning, we need to do this in order to just get the best results possible. So what I recommend is start with $5 every single day. This is something that everyone can afford. $5. Really, it's all you need to just get started and get going. And the best strategy for this, with that $5, is you can go down two routes. You can leave it at $5, or if you have a little bit of budget, bearing in mind, it's gonna take two weeks for you to have really become profitable. $5, when it fully spends, so sometimes it won't fully spend that $5, it might spend $2, it might spend one, it might spend four. But when it fully spends that $5, increase the budget to 10, and then go 15, 20, 25 and then increase it as a percentage basis. With these advertisements, we are going for break even. We just want to get the initial momentum. We are just begging Etsy, we're giving them a little money sacrifice to give us some views and give us some visits. Once they do this, they're gonna start to realize that we've got fucking great listings and they should give us more visitors. So we're just giving them a little bit of money right in the beginning. So when you're giving them ads, you are going to more than likely be a little bit profitable or break even, okay? If you're break even or you're profitable, happy days. That's the position that we want to be in, okay? Break even, wonderful, perfect. So if we're in the break even position, what we want to do from that point is we obviously want to increase the budget. We want to continue being break even, okay? Because our time right now, who gives a fuck, okay? Your time's essentially worthless at this point. You just wanna put more money into it. You wanna get, keep getting more and more sales, more and more reviews and build it up, okay? Around the 50 to 100 sales mark, your like total orders mark, you're gonna become profitable, okay? But let's forget all about that right now, all the strategy, just trust what I'm saying and this is my strategy. So $5 a day, we are going to look at the individual listings. Turn on all of the products that you have, okay? All the products that you have. If you're spending $5 a day, you can have maximum 10 products. So 50 cent budget per one product, okay? What you don't want to have is 50 products being advertised and $5 because Etsy doesn't know where to spend, send the money, they don't know. So if you have $5 budget, have 10 products live on the advertising. You can click the little switch, turn it, turn it on and off. What we're going to look at initially is when it has spent $3, before, if it spent $2, don't look at the product. When it spent $3, look at the product. Does it have a below a 1% CR, little percentage, 1%, does it have below 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7? Or does it have a 1% or above CR, 
okay? If it has 1% or above, once it's spent $3, leave it on until minimum $12, okay? If it has 0.8% CR when it's spent $3, then what you want to do is you want to turn off that product. It's not gonna work, okay? When it's spent 12 minimum, up to really $15, you want to look at it. Does it have a sale at all? On the ads or organically? Does it have a sale anywhere, okay? If it has at least one sale at that point, leave it on. And then, once you've left it on, does it get another sale? And is it break even? Just, are you making enough money? Like, are you losing a little bit, brain making a little bit, or just pure break even? That's all we're looking for. And you just wanna leave the products on if they are break even, and you wanna keep adding new products, and you want to keep slightly increasing the budget by $5. And this is all you really have to do. And this is gonna give you the traffic to actually show Etsy that you are a legitimate seller that you are shipping out the items on time, that you are quick and you are doing things correctly. So how do we go about actually shipping these items out once we've already sold the products, okay? So we are doing a model called drop shipping. So if you don't know drop shipping, we are the middleman essentially. So we've got the supplier, we've got the customer, we just sell the item, we make the money in the middle, we just tell the supplier, ship the item all the way to the customer, doesn't touch us. We don't need to buy any products. We don't need to do anything else or buy any bulk stock. Okay, just don't, we don't need to buy anything. We only buy something once someone has already given us the money for it. So the customer gives us the money, then we need to worry about finding the supplier and stuff like this. So really what I'm gonna recommend is, right in the beginning, just use AliExpress, CJ Dropshipping, or AutoDS, okay? It's that simple. If you're deciding to use AliExpress, you can just, it's like, it's just like buying on Amazon, but rather than your delivery address, you just put the customer's delivery address in there. So that's simple. Same with CJ, same with AutoDS. CJ and CJ Dropshipping and AutoDS, you are going to actually like set up a bit better and it's a bit more easier and stuff like this. But really for the first 50 orders, just use this, okay? I just wanna get you guys going. Don't worry too much about the supplier. It doesn't matter that much. A lot of people think that, oh, long delivery times, everyone's gonna care. Truth is, people don't really care that much. So don't really worry about it, okay? So when you're using one of these websites, the long-term solution is to get a better supplier, a private supplier. If you want one of those, you can message me on Instagram. My username will be in the description, Craig T-Y-R. But for now, don't worry about all the private suppliers. Don't make it too complicated for yourself. Just use CJ Dropshipping, AutoDS, or AliExpress. It's really that simple. So the last step before we get onto making fucking cash is about avoiding bans, but also about scaling as well. So the one thing with Etsy that I don't want you to get discouraged by is bans. A lot of people complain about bans and essentially it's because they are idiots. The wrong system and then there's a the right system, okay? If you do the wrong system, you don't pay attention to what I've said, then you may run into problems, you may get banned and blah, 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 okay? If you follow the right system, you're all good. And again, as I said before, go freeetsyguide.com in the description of this video, check that out and that will help you a lot with avoiding bans and how to actually do that, and the most up-to-date free information for you. So, with avoiding bans, it's a lot about delaying things and dragging things out and making things the best possible way you can. If you make an Etsy store and you use all false information, you use a false address, you use a fake debit card, you use a fake bank account, and it's in the wrong name, then you are going to run into problems. If you're making an Etsy account on some weird public Wi-Fi or school Wi-Fi or you're using a VPN, you are going to run into problems. Do it the most legit way and with your first store, you are very, very, very unlikely to run into a ban. And if it's your first store, just appeal the ban. If you've done nothing wrong, you're not selling copyright items and you haven't done anything incorrect, you will be perfectly okay. And again, on the point of copyright items, Obviously, Disney and Birkin bags and all these different types of products are copyrighted. You are not legally allowed to sell these items unless you have permission from Disney or from Hermes. Like, that, 
obvious, right? So please don't do that because it can get you into legal trouble. I know a couple of people that have been sued for doing this. So how do you actually scale your Etsy income? How do you actually improve from this point right now? Because if you've done everything correctly and you wait two weeks, you will at least make a hundred pounds profit. And in your first month, I would expect a minimum of £1,000, $1,000 profit. So the way you scale from here is by continuing to add products, but also launch more stores. Build your empire, build your universe that you are currently inside and you will make more money. If you want a more in-depth, step-by-step guide that is three hours for completely free, click the top link in the description. If you would like to work with me and my team to help you scale your Etsy stores and also start them and have a one-on-one -on -one mentorship with myself and with my team, then click the link in the description called applyetsykings.com and I'll see you guys in the next one.